Let's look at the tactical guide for the siege of Meo. This is uh, probably the toughest mission so far in the East 100 year war two. The toughest part is uh, this area here. So what you're gonna do is to um, put your best general here and add uh, on the this unit you put the Baldwin you move it up here then uh, this unit with two archers up to you you can use a healing general unfortunately the healing general not very good I use El Cid so a very good archer and a positioning here don't move the soldiers in this area because uh, they will be killed by uh, the troops in the fort these forts, they continue to regenerate troops, so it's pointless to dent into them. You gotta kill them when you have a couple of generals nearby, and then you must position your general into the castle, so that it does not generate more units. And then you have a last unit. I use the Frederick because Frederick uh, has the skill to donate a unit to a general in distress. All this is because you must protect this guy. This is the secondary task to get a three star win. This guy is an idiot. He immediately jumps in here and gets killed after four or five turns. So you send the Baldwin here and you swap. Once you swap with Baldwin in this place, you swap again with one of the blue allies. So you send that guy to be killed and use Baldwin to try to nibble into this uh, castle. By then, your super duper general will have arrived here. And together we'll conquer this castle and place your general stable here ideally in my case i have richard a general which has the chain skill so to block the big general in the castle will be a big plus use your archer here to weaken this castle fortress and you occupy and eventually you get the third general in the yellow ring <clears throat> alternatively that's what I did in my video. I didn't manage to occupy the third ring, which I guess will unlock this map. You see Paris is completely isolated. What you can do, you can directly go into Mao and destroy. If you manage to occupy two castles, there is no more enemies populating, and then you should be able to easily get Mao, and then you can attack Paris from here. If you do that, you don't need to send any troops from this side the reinforcement you can directly send it by here now let's look at the um let's say the northern wing <coughs> so you have your generals here you have a, a, a your best archer will go here you position it here you have another uh, cavalry soldier uh, general this general has uh, the iron skill, so you can collect the iron, which is useful in build a stronger unit. This general has a mobility skill. You place it here, sorry, <laughs> and you give an extra boost to this uh, cavalry general. The cavalry general will arrive in this spot, and you will hurt this one. And you're going to uh, protect the city. The city, eventually, the ally will fall, but you can steal it, and it's yours. Then once you have conquered the city, you will uh, protect it with the, you can, you have money now. You can build a defensive infantry unit to hold it. The enemy is not very strong. Send a couple of generals here. The ally city will also fall and you will take it. And then once that's done, you can send two waves, one here and one here to take the last two cities. And that's a uh, game over. Okay. So just the beginning, you will have uh, a, a large group of soldiers of uh, here to deal with but not impossible the toughest part as i said before is here especially don't be in the range of this uh, castle because they are little all right have fun with this mission take care